welcome to Under the Surface. Monthly club content for fans, providing unique, unrivaled access to the Perth Wildcats. Coming up, we get mic'd up at training. You're not letting them get by you. You're just pushing them out from the, from the get-go. Catch up with John Rilly for in-depth plans about the season. And take school kids through their paces in the Pilbara. But before all that, it's time to meet our assistant coach in the team behind the team. Aaron Young, um, originally from the States, but I was brought up in New Zealand. Um, I've been over here for a couple of years, um, about 10 years into coaching. I had some different experiences with some different teams in the NBL, um, but my first assistant coaching role here with the Perth Wildcats going into my second season here. When we get that snap, that's when you can just yeah. separate. Like, we don't need to I fight that. Yeah, like conserve all your energy coming up the floor. I played heavily in high school, so, you know, it was um, actively involved in a number of different teams through, through those age groups. And then basically my first year out of high school, I got straight into coaching. Even when I was playing um, in my teenage years, I had a, a certain lens that I, I think obviously allowed me to get straight into coaching right after I, started, I stopped playing. JR and I have you know, probably more of a specialty in terms of the offense. So that's where kind of a, a large part of my focus goes on throughout the course of the game. You know, seeing where we can attack teams, uh, where you know, we can get an advantage, um, especially with the personnel that we have. We feel like we have a very, uh, we have a lot of firepower that can you know, hurt teams in different ways. All three assistants have three teams each. So my, my teams entail Adelaide 36s, the New Zealand Breakers and the Sydney Kings. So those are the teams that you know, you're preparing for and scouting for on a daily basis. You go away from practice, games, um, you get straight into the film, straight into the scout. Um, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of groundwork goes into that behind the scenes, but love the film side of things. Love, you know, like I said, learning the intricacies of uh, offense, defense, and, and where you can gain advantages as teams. So it's my job as assistant coach to, to really invest in different ways to really kind of spark good conversation, uh, good feedback, um, and obviously just, you know, create a good environment, positive environment for our players so that when they come into the gym, when they come into game day, when they come into practice, um, there's a positive, upbeat, you know, feeling with everything. I love to have my little notes and my, my little trackpad just to, to be sharp with what I'm, the detail, you know, like, like I said, I, I, I study the game, I watch every team, I watch every player, so you pick up on little things that you feel like can gain an advantage. And if, you know, I feel like if you're not doing that as a coach, then you're not putting yourself in a position to, to put the players first and, and what they see. So. You know, I think that's our responsibility and that's our, that's our job and I take a lot of pride in that um, and being prepared and, and sharp with my messaging is, is definitely a passion of mine. Thanks to Rio Tinto's partnership, we travelled to Caratha to lead community basketball clinics for around 250 kids from schools throughout the Pilbara. It's an amazing day for the Pilbara. We're lucky enough through our partnership with the Wildcats to bring some of their players and coaching staff up. We've got 250 kids participating in a program today from a range of schools in the region. We've got the basketball associations and we've got some of our employees and families that are going to get to have what is a unique experience to practice and play alongside some of the best players in the state. Basketball is huge. We have so many, so many kids in the city that play basketball. I think at last check it was about 700 kids all play. The opportunity to be coached by professional athletes, professional basketball players, um, this is great for their development as our future sporting stars. Coach is out. Coach is in. Hut. Hut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who said hut? Yeah, we're not. Because I didn't grow up with having these type of things um, in Derby, you know, it's important and I, I think it's a good thing that we are, you know, doing this for the, for the community up in the, up in the Pilbara and hopefully we can make it up to Derby one day but, um, you know, it's inspiring to see that these kids are so happy and so excited about it, you know, it's bringing me joy to see all this, especially having my niece being a part of it too, you know, it makes it that little bit more special. Hopefully we inspire the next Wildcats player today when they see what's possible, when they get a few tips, and when they stand alongside some of their heroes. Hopefully they walk out a little bit taller than they walked in.
Training is essential for sharpening skills and preparing for game day. This week, we were mic'd up to give you an inside look. Hey, just a, just a small little detail, because I, I want us to be super clear on this. Like, both times, Hep, Henny and Pepper, you've let him get underneath you and then you, it's, he's, he's got the advantage. You're not letting him get by you. You're just pushing him out from the, from the get-go. Does that make sense? So go here, go again. One. Two. Oh yeah, BC. Yes, BC. Seven. Yes, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Got to ooh, score that one, Harris. Oh, no dip. Look to score, Harris. Right, Harris. Come on, Harris. Nice, nice, nice. Let's do. More pressure. No middle, no middle. Hey. Man up, man up, and then you spin him in a tilt. Good. Nice, KP. Good scram, good scram, mate. Nice. Nice. You got six. Yeah, good scram, mate. Five. Four, four, three, two. Send the punch. Oh yeah, that worked. Here we are there. Now it's catch up with John Rilly. One of the things as you uh, tinker with your roster in the off season is you're always trying to get that little bit better. Uh, we feel like we've been able to do that, uh, but we get reevaluated on that at the end of the season. But I feel very comfortable with our roster and where we're heading. Firstly, import Dylan Windler, uh, previously NBA first round draft pick. What he brings to our roster is uh, like a high level of shooting and, and rebounding uh, his expertise. Elijah Pepper, uh, he, he's Australian, but he's actually pretty much growing up in America. Just someone in my time in the US that I knew about and I was aware of. Uh, so when his uh, time come to become a professional athlete, I was hopefully at the front of the queue for that. Our next star, uh, Etan Almanza. Uh, we were very fortunate last year to have Alex So, who went number two in the NBA draft. Etan, Spanish kid who we were very aware of, uh, and his situation or his journey to the NBA just didn't quite go as smoothly. So hopefully we can sprinkle some magic dust and allow him to live out his dream after having a great season with us. I would say the way those three guys have come into this roster, the bene it's really the benefit of having nine players return and then our whole coaching staff return, which in my time here in Perth, that's the first time we've had that type of numbers and the retention rate, so that's, that's great. And it allows those guys uh, to help the three new guys just transition smoothly, both on the court and then off the court, uh, you know, because everyone has their own dynamic. Uh, off the court, uh, but we got uh, guys that enjoy you know, spending time with each other. Hinder from outside, yeah. piling on the pain. First game against Southeast Melbourne when we opened up the season, we, we played like Wildcat basketball for the majority of the game. Uh, first three quarters, very beautiful basketball, and we allowed, uh, we took the foot off the pedal a little bit and allowed them to score 33 points in the fourth quarter, which like was a Nice look for the scoreboard. Um, Sydney Kings, we lost by a point. We gained the lead with like two minutes to go. But uncharacteristically, we had 20 turnovers. Uh, my time here, we average about 10 a game. So to double that figure, it's really hard to win basketball games when you give the opposition that many more opportunities. We'll be back next month for some more unique, unrivaled access to the Perth Wildcats.